we are so happy, guys, to have our, our really good friend, Jeff Mendel, back in the building. It's been two years? It's been a long yeah. time. Uh, it's been probably since the summer of 2019, uh, maybe the fall of 2019, since uh, Jeff's been in the city. So it's, it's a thrill to have uh, Jeff back in the building, back in the studio, to talk about OTC markets, guys. And speaking of uh, cryptocurrencies, as Sean just was, some grayscale offerings that have increased uh, recently, if I'm not correct. Yeah, so I mean, everyone, everyone here obviously knows about GBTC and ETHE and, and a couple of the others. But last week, we actually introduced a new Stellar Lumens and Zcash uh, uh, grayscale product into our marketplace. So not a ton of action in those yet. Uh, you know, probably something, though, to keep on the radar, like once uh, once everyone kind of figures out that it's there and, and starts to get comfortable with the name. So it's, we, we're really excited about it and probably going to have some more, too. With the uh, with the moves in uh, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin specifically, that we've seen over the uh, past month or so, obviously having some way to have exposure uh, to that uh, market is always a great idea on the equity side. Uh, we talk in depth uh, whenever you're on the show, Jeff, about uh, the Grayscale products for uh, GBTC and also the Ethereum uh, leading the way all week long. I've been noticing as far as volume traded on OTC markets. Uh, give a rundown again as as far as what to expect uh, for traders. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're trading these names, right, and you know, you always think over the counter, like, do I really want to get into this stuff? Is there is there liquidity there? Well, I mean, in these names, like you just said, it they lead the way in volume trading activity and you know just liquidity in general. Uh, market participants, right, with uh, with uh, OTCX being in there, and and then Citadel and Virtu and and all all the big names. You you see them on your level two when you're actually trading these names. And it's it's for size actually. Okay, yeah, perfect. Look at there. There's OTCX on the offer right there. You got Knight and Citadel bouncing around. GTS, another huge market maker in our space. And so yeah, I mean, whenever you want to go in there and you want to buy or sell these names. However, your whatever your time horizon is, if it's you know a few seconds because you see something kind of pop out, or if it's a if it's a couple minutes, or 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 whatever, even even a couple days, it's it's great to have these names because you can you can like jump in in your TD Ameritrade exactly. account too if you're if you want to hold on to them. For you know, anyone not, who just wants a little taste, maybe doesn't have uh, any kind of crypto. Uh, account set up at this point. It's a great option. Uh, we've been discussing this week, Jeff, uh, news on Hertz, obviously, with uh, the Tesla tie. Uh, for anyone looking, you know, still listed on the OTC market, there was, we were going to ask you, uh, there was, I'll put you on the spot here, there was news, I, I want to say a couple months ago, you know, or rumors floating around about them maybe coming back to one of the big boards. Obviously, it hasn't happened as we're still uh, trading on OTC markets, but have you heard any update on that? Uh, no update right now, right? I mean, that's a lot of time that that has to do with the issuer and how all of their uh, their their filings are going, right? With well, bankruptcy in this case, right? And and just and um, you know, it and also has to do with the exchange as well. When that does happen, it's a very smooth process, right? We I think we've talked about this before in the past. Uh, name specific, I, I can't recall off the top of my head, but we've definitely talked about this process. And basically, what happens is at the you know the night before, right? We get a notice, and everyone gets a notice as well too that a name is gonna is going to go back up to the exchange. And so that will probably happen with Hertz, right? I mean, rumors, you know, especially with a name like this, also with some of the deals that they that they just announced, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, with uh, with um, with uh, Tesla yeah. and now and now Uber as well too. You know, it, when it does, like listen, we love it when it's trading down here, but when it does go back up, it it's kind of it happens. Uh, it's I very believe um, uh, Luck and Coffee was maybe the one that we were discussing on the way back down. Yeah, luck and was one on the way down. Whether or not it was yes. going to uh, so. come back to the upside. Mm -hmm. For uh, anyone in the day trade the world family, any updates as far as OTCX, new offerings coming, anything on that side you want to pass along? So, so one thing that we are working on right now is a depth of book feed. And so what that means is now you're going to be able to see liquidity at multiple levels in OTCX. So like, let's say, you know, if you saw something on the offer for 100 shares, right, you're like, oh, man, I, I got... 10,000 shares of this of this name and I only see a hundred on the offer right well now now you'll be able to see the next levels in there as well too on your level two screen so that's coming and uh, hopefully we can work with you guys to get it up on uh, 
on all of your traders' uh, desktops. That sounds uh, sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone you know who does trade on the OTC markets uh, and has you know any kind of questions as far as maybe listings or or any of the uh, any of the goings on uh, on OTC markets, uh, Jeff is going to stick around uh, for the remainder of the show. So. Feel free, guys, to you know throw some questions in the chat. We'll pass them along to Jeff and see if we can't get them answered for uh, for you by the end of the show. But uh, Jeff Mendel, VP OTC Markets, always a pleasure. Thank it's so you, good Brendan. To see you. It is. It's we'll, great we'll, to see you guys. Too. It's great to be back. Welcome back to yeah. uh, to Toronto, guys. Mm -hmm.